Wendy Green. Okay, Wendy. Is your button on? Hello. Okay, go ahead. Well, dear Mayor Ford, who is not here, committee members, councillors, and fellow citizens, my name is Wendy Green. I'm a Torontonian born and raised and have been a homeowner in Ward 22 for, uh, since uh, the year 2000. Hello. Uh, my husband and I are the parents of two teenagers, one of whom is here. We are the kind of hardworking taxpayers Mayor Ford seems, seeks to protect. We make a good living. My family doesn't need to go to the library. We have a computer at home and we buy lots of books. My family no longer needs daycare. And anyway, we had the money to pay for it. We paid market rates for our daycare. We visit the dentist regularly. We have no problems with our teeth. Our health is good. We speak English et on parle français en plus. We have good jobs. We don't need services for immigrants who just arrived with barely the shirts on their backs. We don't have AIDS. We own a car. But we do use public transit, I must admit. And you know what? We don't work the night shift. So if a bus lane, a night bus lane gets cut, no, no skin off our nose. But I am proud to pay taxes. And I would like to quote, I'm so glad you're here, Mayor Ford. I'd like to quote Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., who is a former Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, 1902 to 1932, who said, and I quote, taxes are the price we pay for a civilized society. <laughs> the services, the services that my family can live without and which are funded by our tax dollars are the price we pay for a civilized society that cares for everyone, not just coveted taxpayers such as myself. But to those who remain unconvinced, I suggest a more self-serving argument. Zoos, pools, libraries, daycare, services to immigrants, students, persons with AIDS, food in the schools. All of this contributes to creating a larger pool, a larger pool of taxpayers just like me. And this, this will ultimately lighten the burden, the tax burden for all of us. Let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater. Let's not be penny wise and pound foolish. The proposed cuts will so fray the fabric of our city that after the initial and ephemeral savings, we will find ourselves living in a much uglier, dangerous, and brutish city. Instead of cutting services, I am firmly in favor of paying more taxes, including the vehicle registration tax, because I want to ensure that Toronto remains the civilized city where I was born. We must rid ourselves, ourselves of the fallacy that consultants, who cost us a pretty penny, always know better than those who work for the city. Let's consult Thank our city workers. Thank you very much. Thank you. It oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Councillor Doucet, one minute. Hi, I'm over here. Yes. Um, so you finished daycare, all this sort of stuff, because you've got right. teenage kids. They're probably going to get cars very soon if they don't already steal yours. <laughs> um, would you agree to your tax, pay, your tax money going to maybe planting some trees to keep our planet healthy? I would be thrilled. To give a shade on those hot summer I would days. absolutely be thrilled. I must say, though, I would be even more thrilled to see more subsidized daycare because I almost had a nervous breakdown when I moved back to Toronto and didn't know where I was going to put my children. Uh, there are many things I would like, but yes, I would love trees. And too. I guess at some point you may become a grandmother and they may yeah. need daycare. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So daycare is great. So there's lots of things we can do to improve the planet, improve our city. Absolutely. And you're prepared to pay some taxes. Absolutely. And there's lots we can do to build that taxpayer base. Yeah. Because those mums who can't get daycare and are going on the welfare rolls, Thank you, Councillor Matlow. Thank you One very much. One minute for questions. <laughs> well, uh, I'm uh, well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, you see that uh, well, you're, you're a resident of my ward, which uh, makes you uh, very fortunate, indeed. Indeed. Oh. That's just a personal view. It's a lovely place it to live. It is a wonderful, wonderful place to live. And, uh, and you're, you're doing, you know, you're do, you say you're doing well and you're mm -hmm. comfortable. Mm -hmm. Why do you believe it's important for those who 
are comfortable and well to stand up for those in our city who may not have a voice here today? Well, we don't know where people came from. We don't know. My mother was on mother's allowance. She was a homeowner, but she had very little money. The city was a much easier place to live in at the time, and she was handicapped, and I have inherited her handicap, but I fortunately have the Thank financial means much. to do Next question. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, Wendy. Thank you very much. My Thank pleasure. You. Thank you. David Owen.